Independence Day. Amen. Praise God. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Pastor Sultan Patricia. I want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Amen. A church you can call home. You don't have a home church? Come join us. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Where we honor God, love family, serve others, and pursue excellence. Bienvenidos a la iglesia nuevo comienzo. Again, welcome NBC Church. I mean family. Fam church family. <laughs> Uh, visitors and all those joining us by audio and video amen. prepare yourselves to receive what god has for amen. you amen praise god we're going to be talking today about pressing on with him amen and uh i have a few nuggets i want to read to you first amen just remember don't leave as you came change on a daily basis amen pursue amen. him you know uh do and do what he's called you to do amen he's not finished with you he has great plans for you amen just all you have to do is make yourself available to him amen. and know that you can do all things through christ with strength as you greater is he this in me than he this in the world amen grab your uh bibles yes. and let's make, make this uh, declaration together amen yeah. Lord. and say it open your mouth and speak it out amen, amen. that's what we're supposed to do don't just amen. look at it don't just mm, be silent speak it out amen. amen praise god you know what i'm glad jesus was not silent when he told the father forgive him amen <laughs> thank god we're supposed to amen. confess it say it out make this declaration together amen this is my Bible. i have what it says i am i have what it says i am i can do what it says i can do today i'll be of the word of god i boldly confess my mind is alert my spirit is receptive and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. You can say amen and amen or you can say oh me. <laughs> Praise God. I have a few nuggets I want to read at you and I want you to listen very well. It's a new day. Of course, Psalms 118 24 says that this is a new blessing from God. Like yesterday, failures and pain. Uh, and pains ruin don't let it ruin the beauty of this new day give thanks and be grateful be happy every day has its own promises of love hope peace success and joy strength Amen. and many more blessings from our god it is a new day to rejoice to be glad and give thanks amen, amen. psalm 118 says this is the day the lord has made I, I i i will rejoice and be glad in it amen don't think about all the negative stuff don't think about the circumstances don't think about the problems all the cares first of all thank him yes. seek him first amen and put him first put him on the throne be happy in him thank you lord for this beautiful day amen so we're also there we go <laughs> thank you carmen good morning family and friends this is the day the lord is made rejoice and be glad in it keep going and we also all those of you that are joining us by audio video we just wanted to say happy fourth of july of course tomorrow is the independence day but we're celebrating right now so yes, thank are. god you live in the best country the free country you know i just wanted to say if you don't like this country go somewhere else go somewhere else <laughs> where you don't feel free amen you you like uh, if you're communist go somewhere else amen don't don't be here we want to love this country the bible says that uh uh, we his people says uh let me see let me find it let me make time we we use the bible second chronicles 7 14 everybody knows that one yes yes it says if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then i will hear from heaven forgive their sins and heal their land amen if you're not doing that then go somewhere else <laughs> go to another country amen we're just going to let it tell you how like it is. Keep going. We just oh, also wanted to say Lord. thank you to all the men and women that have served and are still serving. Amen. And all yes. those that have been given to this country. Amen. We thank you for a free country. God bless. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. So we, want, we don't want to be without him. We want him involved in this country, involved in our lives. Amen. Whose God is the Lord. The people he's chose for his inheritance. Psalms. 3312. Keep going, Carmen. Get these. Happy Fourth of July, Independence Day. And God we trust. John 8 32 says, Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Yeah. It's so important as a child of God that you go and find out what the Word of God says. 
If you don't know what it's what it says, that means you gotta have a relationship. You gotta have a relationship. Spend time with him, spend time in the word, and you're gonna mature in the things of God. You're gonna mature in the word of God so that you're not the same all the time. You gotta be moving and you gotta be stepping out in faith. And as your truth grows, as the word grows, yeah. you're gonna your faith is gonna grow and you're gonna yeah. step out and not be afraid anymore. Keep going. Celebrate your freedom in Christ. This Independence Day, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Amen. Galatians 5, 1 in the NIV. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He set us free. Amen. I'm excited. <laughs> Say amen or oh man. Keep going. Oh. This is another thing we're, we're celebrating. <laughs> Happy 10th anniversary of New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. And thank you to all. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. This is our month. July is our anniversary month. Amen. Amen. So you're going to hear that in a few more minutes. Keep going. We're going. Our Bible study starts this Wednesday. So be here. Amen. We'll be here at 7. Wednesday, July 6th at 7 p.m. We'll be here. So be here. Come join us. Amen. Praise God. It's going to be good. We'll stop right there. Amen. Hallelujah. So let me see the nuggets I have for you. I already read you that one. I'm going to read you this one. Church of God. Amen. We will never change the world by going to church. We will change the world by being the church God has called us to be. That's we it. are the church. Nobody ever That's told it. you this, but we are the church. Yes. We are the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. We always blaming somebody else or we're, we're always dependent to someone else. Mm -hmm. We are the church. You are the church. You are part of the church. You are a vital part of the church. Amen. Amen. So you're going somewhere to happen for him. Amen. So why not be good and why not be led by him? Amen. Be full of him before you go yes. and unload to somebody. You can't unload if you ain't full. <laughs> you got to be full uh -huh. to overflow it to share with somebody, you know. That's you just can't be dried up. You ain't got nothing to give. Amen. <laughs> give him, you know. And you know what? When you're full of him, you're full of his love and compassion. Yes, yes, yes. And that's the way you see people with it through his eyes. Amen. Amen. And let the love and compassion rule you. Amen. And not your feelings, you know. Yeah. Amen. You know. No. Just let's remember this. Pray, praise God. Amen. He says in Mark 16, 15 and 18, he says in the uh, New King James. And he said unto them, that's you, mm -hmm. that's me. Go into all the world all and right. preach the gospel to every creature. Every that means everybody. Remember, let's, yes. let's get this straight. He didn't come and die for color. He came and died for souls. Amen. So there's people out there every which color you want. But he didn't die for the color. He died for the people. He died for sound, for souls. Amen. Amen. And you can bring the good news and set them free. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. He Lord. says every creature. Mm -hmm. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. But he who does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will follow those who believe. If you believe, these signs follow you. Amen. Because the word of God says so. In my name, they will cast out demons. There's a lot of devils out there to mm -hmm. cast out. Amen. And don't blame. Don't, don't just count on somebody else doing it. You can do the same thing. Amen. You got to use your authority. Amen. If you're just being silent, <laughs> that's just like being lukewarm. Mm -hmm. Being uh, idle. We're not called to be idle. We're not called to be spectators. We're called to be participators. Amen. amen. Come on. Can you say amen? amen. <laughs> amen. I'm excited. I don't know about you. And these signs will follow those who believe in my name. They'll cast out their demons. They will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will be uh, by no means hurt them. That's right. And they will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Well, I got to bring you to the doctor. Well, I got to bring you to brother so-and-so, you know, or sister so-and-so. No, what about you? You got hands? It says lay hands on the sick. Amen. Uh -huh. And pray for them because the word of God says so. You abuse that body. Be somebody at that spot. You know, you feel that spot. Amen. Woo, man. Here's a, a scripture to give you. In Philippians 4.13. And you hear it all the time. I, and you can put your name there. Hosea can do all things through Christ who yes. strengthens me. Amen. Quit just being laid back, you know. It's yeah. time to press on. That's what I mentioned yeah. today. Press it on with him. Press it on with Jesus. Not once in a while, yeah, yeah, but daily, yes. you know. Yes. Woo, hallelujah, all the time. Thank you, brother. Mm -hmm. 
So, praise the Lord with Jesus. Happy Independence Day. Happy 10th anniversary, NBC. Mm -hmm. This is our anniversary month. Amen. You saw it here a few minutes ago. So, thank you to all who serve and those that are serving now. Thank yeah. you so much for your service time. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you that we live in a free country. Yes, we do. And if you don't like this country, something wrong with you. You you, you have to get saved mm. yeah, yeah. and appreciate what God has done for us. Yes. Amen. Amen. If you don't like this free country, go somewhere else where you can have lots of problems. <laughs> Amen. Mm. You try to act the way you act here, uh -oh. or you go to another country, they'll shoot you on the spot. Or jail you. Or jail you for life. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's been an awesome 10 years. I'm excited. As we start a 10th year, we should be excited, rejoice, and be glad Amen. as we start to serve Him more and more on a daily basis yes. not once in a while but on a daily oh, basis yes. amen yes. we believe god has great plans blessings for nbc yes, yes. jeremiah 29 11 says this in the niv for those i for, it says for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you yes. plans to give you a hope and a future the amplifier says it like this for i know the plans and thoughts i have for you saith the lord uh, the Lord says this. It says plans for peace and well-being and not for disaster. To give you a future and a hope. Yes. Amen. Ten years ago, Lord told us, start this church. New Beginnings Church. We tried all kinds of names and it kept coming back to New Beginnings Church. <laughs> you think it's easy? Well, I mean, I'll just try to copy somebody's name. And, and when you submit it to the state, the state says, somebody already has that. <laughs> And we picked New Beginnings and said, somebody already has that. Well, what about New Beginnings Church of uh, the Big Ben? Oh, nobody's got that. That's what we are. New Beginnings Church of Amen. the Big Ben. Love all, accept all, forgive all. It says, NBC, doors are open to all. Amen. Yes. We don't pick and choose. God says we receive them. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Continue to assemble ourselves together and serve in unity. Amen. This is what we need to know in the body of yes. Christ. We need to serve in unity. Amen. We complete one another. We don't compete against each other. That's Amen. what the world does. That's why so so much hatred and failures out there. We don't compete against each other. We complete one another. Amen. And the L, it stands for love. We love and accept one another. Amen. Woo. Come on now. <laughs> fulfill NBC's vision. What's our vision? God has given us. So we're going to fulfill what God has called us to do. Thank you, Lord, and thank you, everybody. NBC will continue to be a vital part of the body of Christ. So will you. Amen. I'm not just talking about the church. When I'm talking about the church, I'm talking about the body of Christ. That means you also commit, be committed, be available, and be yes. involved. Amen. Be a participator, not a spectator. Yes. You know, those that spectate get to do a lot of talking. <laughs> Amen. And, and most of the people that are doing nothing get to do a lot of talking. Mm. Amen. When you're in the front lines, you know, you ain't going to talk much. Yes, yes. Amen. But be committed, be available, and be involved. Amen. Yes. Come in, hallelujah. Starting 10 years by pressing on with a winning attitude, motivated, inspired, encouraged, and involved in what? Involved in pressing on with Jesus yes. on a daily basis. Yes. I mean, spend time with Him before you yes. hit the world. Because yes. if you don't spend time with Him, the world is going to hit you mm. hard. And it's going to knock you down. Mm. It's a spiritual battle. And if you're not in the Word, if you're not in the Spirit, you ain't no match to the enemy. Yes. You ain't no match to the world. Yes. So make sure. Before leaving the past behind, failures, setbacks, mm. uh, cares, People are going to remind you of these things. The enemy is going to remind you. Remember? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Get out of the past. That's a prison that you are not meant to take. That's it. Amen. We're passing through. We're past that. We're not going back there no more. Amen. Yes. So leave the past behind. Leave anyone, anything, distractions from holding you back. Yes. What's holding you back? You're your worst enemy. Mm -hmm. We got to get myself straight with him and press on. Amen. Anything, anyone, distractions, leave them behind. Amen. Yes. Give no place to the enemy. Amen. If you're listening to the enemy, you got to renew your mind. Yes. Because Amen. you got to get him out of your head. You got to get him out of your mind. Don't listen to his lies. Don't let him drive you. Don't
Don't let him rule you. John 10, 10 says, the enemy comes to do what? Steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus says, I've come that you might have life and have more abundantly. If you ain't having that life more abundantly, something's wrong. Yes. Amen. So don't listen to the lies the enemy gives you or brings to you. Renew our minds with the word of God. Yes. Use your God-given authority. Amen. He's given us authority. Yes, yes. I've been Amen. using it. You know, hey, how do I get an authority? Well, get in the word. Yeah. Start yeah. speaking the word. And he says, submit yourself to God. Resist, yes. the, devil, Resist the devil. And he will flee from you. Yes. He'll run from you. Amen. Yes. That's what we need to do. You can do all things through him. Again, Philippians 4.13. You may be facing giant problems. 1 John 4, 4 says, Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in me yes. than he that is in the world. In the world. Amen. When you know the truth, mm -hmm. I'm going to have a spiritual bath <laughs> and bathe myself so that I can get in the spirit yes. and wash off all the negative stuff uh -huh. off of me. Because yes, yes. I, I need to step out in faith on a daily basis, not just once in a while. That's what David yes, did yes. when he stepped out to meet his giant, Goliath. Man, wait a minute. Jesus was with me. God was with me when I fought the bear, when I fought the lion. Mm -hmm. And the same God is going to be with me when I fight this yes. giant. Whatever giants you're facing, yes. don't face them without him. That's it. Amen. Yes. Stay hungry, thirsty, and stirred up for Jesus. <laughs> yes. Amen. That's true. If you're not staying hungry, you know, we're going to mature in the things of God. We're growing and going and glowing yes. for him. If you're not doing this, you got to stay hungry. Amen. Let me see how I wrote it here. It says the spiritual, uh, spirit, soul, <clears throat> mind, will, emotions. That's your soul, body, and uh, physically. Stay hot, on fire for God. Mm -hmm. Don't let the flame, don't let the light go out. Amen. The only way that fire is going to go out, the only way that light is going to go out, is if you let it. Mm -hmm. Amen. I have a choice. You know, before I go to bed, I turn all my lights out. Mm -hmm. I want them off. <laughs> but my spiritual lights, <laughs> I'm gonna, I want them all, yeah. and they're gonna glow and go for God. Amen. Yeah. That's what it. Stay hot. If you don't, if you're not staying hot, it's not nobody's fault but yours. You gotta get hot for God. Yeah. Stay hot for God by getting in the Word and doing the things He wants us to do. So don't let your flame, don't let your light out. Hot or cold, but not lukewarm. Revelation yeah. three three sixteen. You know that. You can go there and read it. Amen. Mm -hmm. He says, I, I, he says, I can take you hot or I can take you cold. Mm -hmm. He says, but I don't want you lukewarm. Just yeah, yeah. being lukewarm, yeah, just being yeah, idle yeah, and just yeah, sitting yeah. there and doing nothing, nothing. spectating yeah. and not doing anything. Oh, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go there. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not. I'm not that. I'm not doing that. Well, he said he'll speak. He'll vomit you out of his yes. mouth. Yeah, no. Amen. I don't want that to happen. Yes, yes. Growing spiritually, glowing. Listen, write this down. Growing, glowing, and going for Jesus. Growing, glowing, and going. Amen. I'm going to grow and mature in the things of God. I'm going to glow in the flame. I'm going to grow in the light that's yeah. in me. And I'm going to go for him. Mm -hmm. Only thing that can stop you is yourself. That's it. Amen. The two enemies, the devil and yourself. Yeah. And you're going to stop yourself and say, no, I, I can't do that. you got to get off of that I can't attitude. Amen. Amen. Yes. And get in that winning attitude. You're on a winning team. Get the attitude of winning. Amen. Mm -hmm. He put you here to win, not to lose. That's it. That's Amen. It. That's <clears throat> it. Be committed to him. Be committed to your church. Be committed to your pastors. Amen. That's what Amen. God says. He gave us gifts. And one of those gifts is pastors. It says apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teachers. Amen. Uh, Hebrews 10, 23 through 25, it says to help encourage each other and be strong in him. I'm going to read it to you. It says, uh, verse 23 says, and let us hold tightly without wavering yes. to the hope we affirm for God can be trusted to keep his promise. 24, and let us think of ways to motivate one another to act the acts of love and good works. 25 says, and let us not neglect our meeting together as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the days of his return is drawing near. Okay? Encourage one another. 
listen to what I wrote here. <laughs> this is, I know this is not for you, but it says, come out of hiding all you believers that are still hiding from this COVID-19. They says, you can't assemble yourselves together. And some of us are still absent. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. Come out of hiding, you yeah. believers. That's it. You're still hiding from COVID-19? Quit using it you quit using it as an excuse to be lukewarm. Yeah. Quit using it as an excuse to be lazy. Yeah. He didn't call us to be lukewarm. He didn't uh -huh. call us to be lazy. Amen. Second Timothy one and seven says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Amen. Second Corinthians twelve tw uh, twelve through twenty seven. I just uh put that together. But basically what he, he wants us to come together. Yeah, I, I said yeah. a few minutes ago, yeah. he didn't die for colors. He died for souls. All right, yes. Amen. Yeah. I didn't bring my little uh, uh, Play-Doh. But you know, usually I, I have a little Play-Doh of all colors. And I take my little Play-Doh mm -hmm. and I put it all together. And uh -huh. you have 10 colors. And you put it all together and it becomes one uh -huh. ball uh -huh. of yeah. Play-Doh. Yeah. And all these colors mixed together. Right. For God so loved the yes. world. Amen. God so loved people that He gave, He sacrificed His only begotten Son. Yes, He did. And He didn't do it for colors. Right. He did right. it for people. Amen. He did it for souls. Yeah. Yeah. So, whatever mindsets you have, you know, it's time that you stop that. You know, uh, mm -hmm. you, your group, or whoever you assemble yourself yeah. with, yeah. if you're not receiving people, yeah. Of different colors or whatever, it's time you stop. Yeah. Because Jesus died for all of us. Yes, he, he died for souls, not for colors. Yeah. Amen. So let him come. Amen. And minister to all Everyone. and serve all, not just our little group and no more. Yes, no, yes. that doesn't work. Amen. Uh -huh. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah. So we're starting our tenth year, and I want you to know God's still on the throne. Yes, he he is. is the head and we're the body. <laughs> We are the body of Christ. We are the church. Again, yes. if you never heard it before, we're the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. We're the church of God. Yes. Amen. It's not this building where we come together. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm going to church. Mm -hmm. No. If you're the church going somewhere to happen yeah. for somebody. Yeah. Amen. That's why you got to be ready. Yeah. Stay ready. Amen. Amen. Church family, brothers and sisters in Christ. One body, many parts. You are one part of his body. Yes. see yourself that way and I'm going to do my part you know I talked about this physical body this physical body has many parts yes. and they all have to work together yes. in unity yes. and if they're not functioning right you're going to be, going to be sick mm -hmm. something's going to happen yes. something's going to give mm -hmm. they got to be together yes. as a body of Christ we got to keep, come together complete one another yes. and not compete against one another amen. amen thank God this body functions in yes. unity and the body of Christ needs to do the same thing. Yes, it it's, we're not divided by colors. Yes, we're not divided by peoples. We 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 need to come together and yeah. be used to God equally. Yes. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Exactly. Amen. Each one of you are separate but gifted different. Be the original God called you to be. Yes. You're an original. You're not a copy of anything. You're an original. See yourself that way. You don't have to be a copy. You don't have to copy anybody. God has gifted you to do what you do. And whatever you do, do it under Him and please Him. Uh -huh. You don't have to please people. Amen. Because people are never going to be pleased. No, no. no Amen. No, no. So let's remember this. Be committed. Be available. Be involved. Man, we need to write these things Amen. wherever we see it all the time. Be committed. Be available. Be involved. Participate, not spectate. Amen. Amen. We need we need to know these things on a daily basis. Listen to this, Philippians uh, chapter three, verses twelve through fourteen, the NIV. Not that I have already obtained all this, or have already arrived at my goal, but I, you, you put your name there, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold for me of yes. me. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But uh -huh. one thing I do, yes. forgetting yes. what is behind and Thank pressing on. And 14 says, I press towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Yes. 
I've got to do these things. i got to press on on a daily basis. Yeah. I can't stay in the past. I can't worry about two or three days or two or three, two or three years ahead. i got to be right now. Faith is, faith is now. Not tomorrow, not yesterday. Faith is now. Amen. And I need to do something. I need to get in Him. I need to get in with me. And I need to press on with Him. Ooh, come on now. Nothing is going to stop us from reaching our goal. That's it. You say goodbye to past. Say goodbye to failure. Say goodbye to setbacks, defeats, bad or um, um, bad or losing attitudes. Mm. Let them go. Mm. Amen. I refuse to be satisfied with average, yeah. Yeah. second best, mediocre, yeah. or lukewarm. Hey, and you know, hey, I'm just a so-so, you know. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. I got to press on. You know, yeah. soaring with eagles, mm. soaring with God. Yes. Amen. Not scratching with the chickens. Or, or wallowing with, huh. with the hogs or yeah. pigs, you know. But I'm going to fly All right. as eagles. Yes. We have one physical body, mm -hmm. many different parts working together in unity. Yes. So is the body of Christ. One body, different parts working, serving together yes. in unity. Uh -huh. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. In the body of Christ, we're called to encourage, complete and, uh, one another and not compete. Yes. Criticize or judge. Amen. 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 The difference between complete and compete is the letter L. Mm -hmm. And the letter L stands for love. Mm. Amen. And leave it alone. Yeah. <laughs> we are to complete one another with his love. First John 4 and 8 again says, He who does not love does not know God. For God is mm -hmm. love. If you know your God, you know that God is love. Uh -huh. He chose us and he loves us. He knows every negative thing, every bad thing about you and loves you the best and loves you more than anyone yes. else. Yes. We are to let his love and compassion work in us, flow through us and share it Amen. on a daily basis. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Lord, Lord. Listen, 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 it is. You can write this. The love of God is the glue. The love of God is the glue that keeps his body yeah. of believers together. Amen. The, the, the body of Christ, the church, mm -hmm. us, the glue mm -hmm. is the love of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Man. Amen. Hallelujah. Man, we've already had church. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> church stays combat ready, stays prepared and physically, physically and spiritually. Watch your words, watch your actions. Cheating or lacking of lack of training or maturing shows on your results. Uh -huh. It shows. I guarantee you. People are going to test you every day. Yeah. The enemy's going to bring people around you to test you on a daily basis and see what happens. <laughs> Amen. And it's going to show. So Amen. watch your words. Watch your actions. The choice is yours. Oh God. The choice is yours. Uh -huh. Spend time with him. Study. Amen. Meditate. No room for laziness. No room for lukewarmness. Amen. Amen. No place for the devil. Oh. In Ephesians. Uh, mm. Ephesians. You can write. You can. You can mark this. Ephesians four twenty seven says this. Neither give place to the devil. All right. Yeah. If you're given place, mm -hmm. he's going to drive you, and he's going to make you do things you don't want to do. Remember right. last week we talked about sin. Mm -hmm. Sin will take you further than you want to go, keep you longer than you want to stay, and it'll cost you more than you can pay. Amen. And if you're in sin, the enemy ain't going to bug you. We're just going to have a good time. Right. You try to get out of sin, and he'll give you hell. Yeah. Amen. I need your help, Lord. Help me. <laughs> he'll help you. You know, Jesus in the flesh, <laughs> he was in the world. Yes. had to go through all these things yeah. mm -hmm. and he had to put the world down mm -hmm. amen so he says i'm he's our greatest example yes he is. if he can do it he says you can do it also mm -hmm. amen. amen so amen. just remember this do uh, uh second timothy 2 5 uh 15 excuse me second timothy 2 15 king james study to show yourself approval yes. to god a workman yeah. he did not be ashamed yeah. rightly dividing the word of truth mm -hmm. amen so yeah. I, I have to study I can't stay a, a, a spiritual baby That's all it. my life. 
If you're going to be a spiritual baby, enemy's going to have you. Mm -hmm. You're no match to the devil. That's Remember, it. we've talked about this many times, but mm -hmm. part-time believer is no match to a full-time devil. Yeah. And you're going to fight a spiritual battle. Mm -hmm. If you ain't fighting a spiritual battle, you lost already because uh -huh. you're in the flesh. Yeah. Yeah. You got to get in the spirit. You got to get in the word. Amen. 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 Submit yourself to God. Resist, Resist the devil. devil. And he's going to flee from you. You got yeah. the word. You're going to take authority. Yes. And you got to speak it out. Yes. You got to get filled of it. But you got to let it out. Mm -hmm. Amen. And if you ain't letting it out, you ain't no match to the devil. Yeah. Yeah. He's just going to have you. Mm -hmm. Our goal is to be well prepared. Yeah. I want to be well prepared. You know, whatever you do, you want to be well prepared. Whatever job you do, you want to be well prepared. Amen. I was military for many years, 20 plus years. And I, we was well prepared on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Amen. You got to stay prepared on yeah. a daily basis for Christ. Mm -hmm. Not once in a while, mm -hmm. not when you feel like it, yeah. but on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. The enemy yes. comes to steal, kill, and destroy, destroy. daily. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Not once in a while. Yeah. Amen. I'm not in the mood for it. <laughs> he is. Amen. And he's yeah. full time. So if yes. you're not full time, yeah. you lost already. Yes. So be bad already. Yes. Put on the full armor of God. If yes. you've never read this before, just go to Ephesians chapter 6, mm -hmm. verses 10 through 18. Amen. And it tells us who we fight. Yeah. We fight principalities. Mm. Let's go there. Yes. <laughs> Ephesians chapter 6 and you can underline these, highlight these uh, Amen. you're not fighting brother, sister, so and so That's it. <laughs> this is who you fight yes. verse, look at verse 12 well uh, verse 10 starts with the yes. whole armor of God Fine. and we'll talk about that some other, some other time but mm -hmm. verse 12 says this don't oh, wrestle not against flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. So you're not wrestling against brother and sister. Right. But against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in low places. High, high places. Uh, uh, Amen. Have you ever heard mm -hmm. new levels? You're growing mm -hmm. new levels? New devils. Guess what? Hey, here comes some devil. Introduce new devils. New, new devils coming. New level, mm -hmm. new devils. <laughs> So that was it. That's what you're fighting right there. And the only enemy you have is Satan. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you need to know this. Yes. You need to know this. Put on the full armor of God. Let me see. Yes. It says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord yes. and in the power of his might. And verse 11 says what? Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Mm -hmm. And it tells you who, who, you, who you wrestle. Amen. And verse uh, uh, 13 says, Wherefore, take on the whole armor of God, yes. that ye may be able to stand, yes. withstand in the evil days, and having yes. done all to stand, do what? 14 says, yes. Stand yes. therefore, having your loins girded by with the truth. And it goes on to saying what you need to yes. put on. Put on the whole armor of God. Yes. And remember, on here, does it say, take, it. take it off, take it child off. of God? It. No. Since you keep it on. Amen. So yes. praise God. Praise God or yes. oh me or Amen. Amen. <laughs> it also says to study and be prayed up. Mm -hmm. We gotta do something. We gotta yeah. make sure daily yes. on the things of God. Mm -hmm. And here's what we do. Battle ready, we're gonna press on. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna go back. We're not just go, hey, I'm about hit I'm a I, I hit a comfy zone, you know, yeah. so I'm just gonna <laughs> Take some time, you know, hour and hour, man. This uh, mm. uh, uh, Independence holiday, you know. Hey, we had a three-day weekend, man. I'm just gonna cruise, you know. It's nice and easy. Oh, we, yeah. We're gonna do nothing. We just, no, it's just press on. Yes, amen. Press yes. on again. No place to the enemy. No place. He comes to steal, kill, destroy. John That's 10, 10. Mm -hmm. That's what the enemy does. Yes, he does. He, he don't want to be your friend. That's He's it. your enemy. Mm. Amen. Life is not a sprint, but a marathon. Yes. Patience is needed. Mm. Start by, by start. Starters may be, must be finishers. Mm. 
Patience is needed. No quitting. Every day before you step out at the face of the world or worldly giants, go through your spiritual workouts. Meet him. Meet with him first before you go into the world. It's also called relationship. Have relationship with him. You know when you have relationship with your God, you get to know him. I hate to go and meet with him and say, you know, depart from me. I never knew you. Right. Amen. And that was your choice that you can make and correct right now. Yes. By getting to know him. Yes. And then know him every day mm -hmm. before you face the world or worldly giants. Go through your spiritual workouts. Yes. Meet with him. Seek him first. Yes. Spiritual workouts is this. <laughs> Stir up that awesome power of God in you. Mm -hmm. The one the devil hates. Yeah. yeah. He says, to stir up yourself. Mm -hmm. You want to stir yourself up. And you yes. got something good cooking on the stove. <laughs> but you know, hey, I want to get all these uh, uh, ingredients, ingredients yes. together. I'm going to stir it up. I got all kinds of good things in me. Oh. Man, I've done some studying. And I'm just going to stir myself mm -hmm. up and get myself ready. You know, yes. hey, Amen. I'm God's winning team, yes. you know. But I'm going to stir myself up yes. so I can go and be a better soldier for Jesus. Yes. Be a better believer. Mm -hmm. Amen. So that they could see Christ flow through me. Yes. That's yes. how they can tell. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Lord. Remember that you are trying being your spirit. So be prayed up. Be studied up. Mm -hmm. Be tuned up. Be worked out for God. Amen. You got to do these things. So why do I feed my spirit? The word of God. Get in the word of God. Study and stay in shape, spiritual yeah. shape. Yeah. The soul, what I do with my soul, what well, your soul is your mind, your will, and your emotions. Yeah, yeah. You renew it with the yeah. word of God because the enemy attacks the battlefield. Absolutely. The battlefield is the, is the mind. And you get all kind of thoughts go through you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that's where the enemy attacks the most. Mm -hmm. When you have a crack in that, he's wow. gonna get it. Mm -hmm. And you say something, he's there. Mm -hmm hear it. And when you say it, look out. You open the door. You open the door. That's right. Listen to this. The body. Crucify the flesh. Psalms 23 says what? Ye be all I go do I walk through the valley of shadow. But let's go there. <laughs> Psalms 23. Everybody knows it. But that's okay. We learn we we learn from the word of God. Amen. 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 Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. shepherd. He's my pastor. <laughs> but in the Spanish it says pastor. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still water. Yes. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness. For his name's sake. It says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. For why? For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. That's what we have to do, is let our cup run over. You know, when it's, when it's flowing over, that's when you're going to share with people and give to people. And you know, don't let it go dry. It's your choice. Don't let, don't let it go dry. Keep it full to overflow. Amen. Amen. Six says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord for ever. Ever. Amen. So praise yeah. God. <laughs> so God is with me. Amen. Yes. Let me see how I wrote it here. Psalm 13. Yea, you will walk through the valley, the storms, the giants, the cares, the problems. Even though I walk through there, I said, I'm walking, I'm stepping, I'm not stopping. God is with me. Amen. God is with me. He said he never leaves us nor forsake us. So if you feel lonely and you feel like you're falling, no. He says, he's with me. God is with me all the Amen. time. He never leaves me nor forsakes me. That's it. That's a trick of the enemy. Yeah. If Isaiah 50, 54 and 17 says, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Amen. I'm not going to let it prosper. Amen. Whatever you get, negative thoughts, wash them out. That's it. Delete. Yeah. Let it go. Yeah. And again, 
again, again, Ephesians 6, chapter 6, mm -hmm. verses uh, 10 through 18. Put on the whole armor of God. It says full or whole, but yeah. not just part of it. You put on a full uniform. You put yeah. on your full armor. You don't go to battle with part partially dressed. Yes, you put on the whole armor of God. Amen. Amen. And we'll be talking about the armor of God later on, okay? Um, Galatians 5, 16 through 18, in the easy to read version, it says, So I tell you, live by the way of the Spirit. Yes. Live the way the Spirit leads you. Uh -huh. Then you will not do the evil things your sinful self wants. Oh, boy. <laughs> 17 says, The sinful self wants uh, what is against the Spirit. Mm. And the Spirit wants what is against the sinful self. Mm. They, the flesh and the spirit, they are always fighting against yes. each other. And this is your battlefield is the mind. Mm. Amen. So you got to renew your mind with the word of God. Because if you're just confessing and doing what your flesh is telling you to do or your mind is telling you to do, if you know that's against the word of God, then mm. stop it. That's it. Amen. Stop it. Because remember the flesh and the spirit are always battling yes. together. So that you don't do what you really want to do. Amen. You're going to do it. I don't know why I did it. Yeah, you know why you did it. Yeah. Because you gave in to the flesh. <laughs> I don't know why I ate that whole thing. Well, I was supposed to bring it to the fellowship. But I'm sorry, I ate it. <laughs> Again, listen to this. Again, cheating or lack of training on your spiritual workout will show on your daily race. Oh yeah. It'll show on your daily race. So strong or weak. Yeah. Being strong or weak is your choice. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody else's choice. Well brother so and so or, or sister so and so. No. It's your choice. Yeah. Amen. Because you 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 wrestle with these things. Mm -hmm. Jesus wrestled with these things on a daily basis when he got up. Yes he and he made the right choices. We need to make the right choices. Yes, life, the Bible says life and death are in the power of the tongue. Life and death yeah. still is your choice. Yes, Listen to this. Proverbs uh, 18.21 in the easy to read version says the tongue can speak words that bring life uh -huh. or death. Yeah. The tongue, your words can bring life or death. Yeah. Those who love to talk must be ready to accept what it brings. Huh. Amen. This is the oh, read version. This oh, is different. You read it in different translations. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. Amen. But those who love to talk mm -hmm. must be ready to accept what it brings because it's going to bring life yes. or it's going to bring so death. Yes, yes. Bad or good. Oh, the choice is yours. What are you going to speak? Well, it just popped in my head, so I'm yes. just going to shoot it out. No, you got to be selective. Yes. I have a piece, I have a weapon. I just don't pull that weapon and shoot at anything. Oh, I gotta make a decision. Yes. I make this decision. I'm not gonna fire this gun unless I know. Mm. I'm not gonna fire my work gun <laughs> unless I know. Mm. Well, it's gonna hurt somebody. Mm. I'm not gonna say those things. Mm. I'm gonna hold them and I'll put a guard to my mouth. Yes. I'm not gonna speak them out. I'm gonna keep it. Amen. And rebuke yeah. the enemy. Yes. See, I, I'm not going to say those things. But yeah, yeah. it's your choice. Yeah. And whatever you sow, if it's negative, mm -hmm. it's going to grow in you. Yeah. And you're going to receive that because it's going to grow in you. You're sowing it and you're planting it mm -hmm. and it's going to grow in you. So I don't want that growing in me. I don't want that in me. Mm -hmm. My body is tempered the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And I don't want no negative things growing in me. Other spiritual weapons available. The Word of God. The blood of Jesus. Well, we don't talk much about the blood of Jesus. <laughs> he set us free. Yeah. Amen. The word of God, the blood yeah. of Jesus, the name of Jesus. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. Philippians uh, 2 and 10 says this. Every knee will bow. Every knee. Mm -hmm. So you know what every means? Every, every yeah. knee means every knee is going to bow. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. If I talk, yeah. talk, and talk cheap, mm -hmm. and just mm -hmm. talk big, yeah. But when God time comes, yeah. every knee is going to bow down to Him. That's it. And the Word of God says so. Yeah. So I'm going by what the Word of God says. Amen. <laughs> Praise and worship Him. You know, some of us, 
We hate praise and worship. Well, I can't sing, Pastor. <laughs> I can't sing. You know, make all kinds of excuses. But praise and worship. You know, when the Bible talks about uh, Paul and Silas, they was in the prison and they put them. Man, they was afraid of God. Man, you guys are Christians. And we're going to put you way in the dungeon. I mean, we want you way down where God can't reach you. <laughs> It says at the midnight hour. Yeah. yeah. Paul and Silas, you know, mm -hmm. they could have been up there comparing sad notes, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and saying negative things. Oh, we shouldn't have done this, you know. <laughs> Look where it got us, Lord. What, what's up with this, you know? <laughs> they could have been sharing negative right. thoughts, sad thoughts, you know, or be sad. Yeah. No, at the midnight hour, yeah. when they was all beaten and bruised yes. and, and bleeding everywhere. Mm -hmm. They started worshiping God. Yes, they did. They praised and worshiped Jesus. And guess what? <laughs> Jesus hurt them. Yes, yes hurt them. You know? Jesus hurt them. And he showed up. Mm -hmm. There was a big earthquake. And every cell door opened. Yeah. The guard, <laughs> he just dropped to his knees. He was ready to kill himself. Mm -hmm. And they told him, said, don't kill yourself. We're all here. We're all here. <laughs> you know? Stephen, mm -hmm. he proved himself to God. Mm -hmm. And you know, they took him to the end of town and they stoned him yes, to death. Yeah. And he still didn't deny Jesus. And Jesus saw his servant. The Bible says he's seated at the right hand of God. Mm -hmm. When he saw Stephen being stoned mm -hmm. and Stephen offering himself to Jesus, says Jesus stood. Mm -hmm. Amen. Jesus stood. That's the only place in the Bible that talks about Jesus standing. He stood up. So he knows you. So you know, yeah. you know what you're going through. Yeah. <laughs> so nobody loves you that much like he does. That's it. And he knows all about you. Amen. So he didn't leave you. He didn't forsake you. He says, I'll never leave you. Never. Forsake you. He's always there for you. So whatever you're listening to, renew your mind. They yes. know that God loves you. Yes. God is love. Yes, he is. Uh, here's another thing is prayer. Mm -hmm. uh, we've heard this before. Uh, TGIF. Everybody knows what TGIF stands for? Yeah. The world knows. Thank God it's Friday. <laughs> but it also stands for Thank God I'm forgiven. Thank God I'm forgiven. Thank you, Miller. Thank God I'm forgiven. You can say that every day. Another one is this. We used to use this a lot in the military. ASAP. I want that done ASAP. Mm -hmm. As soon as possible. Step. No. Say a prayer. Mm -hmm. Say a. Mm. Always. Always. Say a always say a prayer. Yeah. And that's one of our weapons. Uh -huh. Is prayer. Amen. You can pray. It says if my people which I call by my name. Shall humble mm -hmm. themselves. And pray. 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 So you know. There's no distance in prayer. That's it. You could be listening to word, uh, news around the world mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and still, yeah. Lord, I'm going to pray about this. Or Lord, the Lord puts it in you to yeah. pray. 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 What can I do about it? Mm -hmm. I'm no government. I can't do this. I don't have the funds. No, but you have a prayer pray. that you can pray. It's free. And it's free. And mm -hmm. it'll go straight to the throne room. Mm -hmm. It'll go straight to him. Amen. If my people... Praying. He's looking for somebody that might be praying. Mm -hmm. Are you praying? Do you pray? If not, it's time for you to start. Amen. Amen. <laughs> praying in the Spirit. Oh, Acts 2 and 4. Check these out for yourself. Mm. Acts 2 and 4, Jude 1 and 20, and Romans 8 26. Amen. Write those down and check them out. What was that again? Uh, Acts 2 and 4, mm. Jude 1 20. In Romans 8 26. Here's another one. The power of my testimony. Every one of us has a great testimony. Mm -hmm. Share it when he tells you to. He says, They overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. testimony. You have a testimony. I used to <laughs> be this way. I used to be lost. Mm -hmm. I used to be in this, you know, mm -hmm. whatever habit, whatever had you. Mm -hmm. Down and out, but no, no more. 
Oh. I'm a new person. I'm a new creature. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in St. Corinthians 5 17 says that we're new creatures in Christ. Mm -hmm. The old is gone, the new is here. Yes. Amen. So let the past go. Let the old go. Amen. Because I'm a new creature in Christ. That's it. People may not see it in you. That's it. It's okay. He does. He does. I'm not pleasing people. I'm pleasing him. Amen. Amen. So let's let's yes. let's remember this. But we have to do it. We gotta be hearers and doers yes. of the word of God. Amen. Amen. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. What would happen here? <laughs> Nothing can stop you now, especially the enemy, the devil. You know why? When you know and you walk in, in authority, you find out he's a defeated foe. Yeah. He's an enemy. But see, he's a defeated enemy. He's defeated. Amen. And you gotta remind him because he's so stupid he don't know. <laughs> The devil cannot make you do anything That's unless right. you allow him. Exactly. Amen. Amen. How, you know how you allow him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the words you speak. Yeah. He's listening. Mm. And you forgot. And you just confess. Mm. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. He's listening. Your words, your actions, watch your words, watch your actions. He's listening. Mm -hmm. And he heard what you said. And now you just saw the negative. Mm. Give him no place and guard your words. Yes. Use faith-filled words only. Amen. I'm going to speak what the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. Remember, use your authority. Yes. And again, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through all Christ who strengthens me. I can't do that. What the Word of God says, I can't do it. The Word of God says, I can yeah. do all, all things through, through Christ, Christ who strengthens me. me. So stop the I can't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what the poor, poor English. First John 4 4 again, you are God, you are God, little children, and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he that is in the world. We gotta remember these things, amen. We're almost there, we're almost ready to close here. The only thing that can stop you is you. Yeah. You can stop yourself by what? By quitting yeah. before you start the race. Mm -hmm. No spirit, no spiritual uh workout, no fellowshipping no relationship you don't know it you have no relationship right amen but the spiritual workout is getting the word yeah. study to show yourself approved yeah giving up during the race you know what i'm just going to quit he didn't make us to quit yeah. jesus had opportunities to quit yes he did. He did. i'm not going to allow myself to be sacrificed for these people that are doing <laughs> bad things to me I'm quitting. I'm just yeah, calling right. my quits. I'm going to stop right here. Mm. He shows us a great example. He's the greatest example. Yes. Amen. Amen. Giving up during the race. Jesus had opportunity to give up, but he never gave up. So you know that I need your strength. <laughs> I can't do this. Help me, Lord. Mm. Or his Father. Help me, Father. Your words. Guard them. Watch your say-sos. Mm. Whatever say so you're saying, mm. be careful of your words, your actions. Tongues, the hardest thing to tame. Oh my if you don't know that by now. Oh my <laughs> I'm going to say it anyway. Mm. Nobody can stop me. <laughs> so you just go let them know, yeah, read my lips. <laughs> and you just blast it. You just gave them a dull barrel shot. <laughs> no, be careful. Put a guard. Mm. Say I used to just blast all the time. I'm not going to do that no more. <laughs> Tongue's the hardest thing to tame. Yes. yes. And all, all of us have a tongue. <laughs> and all of us have words to say. But if it's not positive, don't say it. Yeah. Your associations, your dream, your vision busters, your families, your friends, your coworkers, oh be careful who you associate with. I told you many times, I, I asked the Lord to uh, take my enemies away. Mm. Help me with the enemies. Take these enemies away. And I started losing friends. Yes. He gave me new friends. Yes. Mm. Say, wow, I didn't know that. Mm. And if he takes it from you, mm. don't go back and get it. Amen. <laughs> Let him go. Yeah. He'll yeah. give you the right friends. Yeah. For a season, maybe for a short season, maybe for a mid-season, maybe for a long season, maybe for life. Amen. Give God your best. You're a winner. You're a champion. You're an yeah. overcomer. 
Don't settle for anything less. Mm -hmm. Don't let anyone or anything stop you. Mm -hmm. Don't stop yourself. That's it. Press on. Be heaven bound. Heaven mm -hmm. is my goal. Heaven is your goal. Mm -hmm. Amen. He has not called you to quit. He's called you to be a winner. See yourself that way and have a winning attitude. Yes, amen. Not a losing attitude. The world yeah. tries to make you have a losing attitude. Mm -hmm. Makes you want to be disqualified. Not good enough. Mm -hmm. You just gotta motivate yourself to see what the word of God says about you so you can start confessing those things about yourself and not mm -hmm. receive what others think about you. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to take what God has for me. Because mm -hmm. I, I want to please Him. Mm -hmm. And not this world. Amen. Praise God. 1 Corinthians 9, 20, uh, 24 through 27. Don't you realize that in a race, everyone runs. In a race, everyone runs. But only one person gets the prize. So you run to win. Verse 27, 25 says, All athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize mm -hmm. that will fade away. Yeah. But we do it for an eternal prize. Yeah. 26. So I run with purpose in every step. I am not just shadow boxing. <laughs> 27. I discipline my body like an yes. athlete. Trying to do what it would should. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to all others, mm -hmm. I myself might be disqualified. So I need to do these things, okay? A person who is serious about winning restricts himself in all things. Yes. The message translation says this, I do not know about you, but I'm running hard for the finish line. I'm going the distance. Jesus told his disciples, they went to see a Galilee and says, we're going across to the other side. The storm rose up. He tells you every day, we're going to, to the end of the day, we're going to see this day through. Yeah. And during the day, all kinds of life storms rise up. Uh -huh. But you know what? He's already told us. Yeah. This day is guaranteed. Yes. This day, he's with us. He never leaves us, nor forsakes us. Storms may come, but I'd rather face the storm with him than without him. Oh, yes. Amen. 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 And that's what he told his disciples. We're going to the other side. If he says we're going to the other side, hey. <laughs> God is with me. I know I'm going to make it to the other side because he says so. So I'm standing on his word. He's going to be with me every day. So I know I'm going to make it through. Absolutely. Amen. So see yourself that way. Yes. I don't know about you, but I'm running hard for the finish line. I'm going the distance. I'm giving it everything I've got this 10th year. Just give it everything you've got every year. Yes, amen. I mean, every year, press on to do yes. what he's called you to do yes. and do what you call call me to do. No sloppy living for me. <laughs> you cannot expect mediocre training to produce gold medal results. Yes, that's right. And here, part-time believer is no match to a full-time devil. Part-time believer is no match to a full-time world. Mm. You got to be ready. And you got to yeah. be prepared. You cannot live like everyone else and expect to be to to receive God's best. You cannot live like everyone else and expect to experience God's best. Amen. You know, you're holding yourself back. Live a life that is pleasing to God. And in closing. Amen. Amen. Galatians 5, 7, and 9 says this. You're running a race so well. Who has held you back from following the truth? It certainly isn't God. Yes. For he is the one who called you to freedom. Yes. This false teaching is like little yeast that spreads throughout the whole mm -hmm. batch of dough. So be careful when you mingle with the world. Your associations, they will try to stop you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So let's remember this. There's a lot of good things said. You need to remember these things and start living for Him on a daily basis. Amen. Praise God. And the Bible says once again, I can do all things through Him who strengthens me. Amen. So praise God. And we're not going to close yet until we give you the opportunity. If you've never accepted Him, 
as you know and save you. Now's your time. Now's your time. All you have to do is is uh, is, is just let him know. Lord, I sin against you. Yes. I repent. Come to my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. And from this day on, make a change yes. and start living for Him. Yes. And yes. start pressing on with Him. Yes. Start yes. growing and going and, and yes. for Him. <laughs> Amen. He has great plans for you. Yes, None does. of them include defeat. That's it. Know that you're a winner, that you're a champion, that you're an overcomer, yes. and that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. So praise God. Woo! Get in the Word and get the Word in you and start yes. confessing the Word yes. and start sharing the good news. Amen. Praise God. Yes. Thank you, Lord. If you have sickness in your body, you shouldn't be there. Just touch yourself. It says lay hands on the sick. Hey, I have a sickness, Lord. Touch me. Thank you, everybody. Jesus Christ, I'm here. From the crown of my head to the soles of my yes. feet, I thank you, Lord. No malfunctions in this body. Why? Because my body is a temple of the Holy yes. Ghost. Yes. So I speak to this sickness. The spirit of infirmity has to go. Yes. Sickness, yes. go in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, that my body is functioning in the way you created it to function. Yes. Every organ, every tissue, every muscle of this body functioning just the way you created it. Exactly. And we call it right in Jesus' name. And we call it well. We call it healed now yes. in Jesus' name. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Time to give. Those that are watching, listening, would like to give. Just uh, go to our website. It's on the screen for you there. Uh, NBCBigBid.com. And press that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252 Marfa, Texas 79843. Again, we wanted to say before we go, happy Independence Day. Enjoy. Uh, have a good time and know that God bless America. Amen. Amen. God is God of this nation and we want to keep it that way and know that we can pray yes. and change things, you know. So praise God. Have a happy Fourth of July. Amen. A happy and enjoyable and safe Fourth of July. Amen. Amen. God loves you and we love you. So God bless. Bye-bye.